Happy Wednesday, everybody. We have your pseudo arm upper body workout mixed with the rest of your full body for today. So we are going to bring back the run because it is slightly warmer outside. <laughs> I miss it. I don't know if you guys miss it, but it'll be nice, short and sweet. It won't be that far. If you don't want to do this and you're like, F that, it's too cold, I totally get it. Grab jump rope, uh, two uh, lateral hops, plate taps, whatever you decide you want to do instead. If you want to sub that out, I would do 200 of them, which is going to be kind of boring and time consuming. So if you have the ability to run, I would suggest that you do it. It'd be nice to get outside and kind of enjoy that warmer weather. So we're going to start with a 400 meter run um, for this workout. Like I said, very short, sweet, won't take you too long. And Jamie's going to take advantage of our indoor space and just run inside. <laughs> um, then we're going to move into uh, five rounds of five and five opposite plank reaches. So we're going to get into a plank position and she's going to get straight at it for us. <laughs> we're going to be reaching out the opposite arm and lifting up the opposite leg. And this is going to kind of be like that donkey kick in the back. You're going to want to make sure your glute is nice and tight. <laughs> And that you're engaging your lats when you reach and lift up that arm and we're keeping that shoulder stacked on the other side that's gonna be underneath us. So you're gonna do five and five per side and then we're going to have 10 push-ups. We've done these a handful of times before. Jake's gonna demonstrate a couple for you guys real quick. We wanna make sure we're keeping those elbows tucked against their side. We don't wanna be winging outwards with those. You can do knee push-ups, regular push-ups. Of incline are easier to keep you off of the floor. That's also an option as well. Then we're going to have seven hollow rocks. I think we've done these a handful of times. These can be rather difficult. Um, if seven feels like too many, you can always cut those reps down as well. But basically we're going to be keeping our arms above our head and our feet elevated in a nice tight hollow position. This is really gonna engage your core. And then we're just going to rock back and forth. So this would be one and that would be two. So seven is a pretty small number, but again, if that's a little bit too much for you to Manage for this workout that's perfectly fine. You can cut that down to three to five, whatever. Um, and bite sized pieces. Now, if you don't want to rock, you can also hold it. And I would recommend if you're going to hold it, try to get at least 20 to 30 seconds in there as well for each round. Then we're going to move into 10 bench dips. Jake's going to hit those for you guys real quick. We're going to be stacking our arms behind us and just releasing down into that crust, if you will, and pushing back up. Now, this workout comes with a little bit of a twist. We wanna make sure we have a timer going. We're gonna start that timer after we get back from the two minute run. You're gonna come, or two minute run, 400 meter run. You're gonna come back from the 400 meter run. We're going to do 40 high knees and then you're going to start your timer. So you're gonna start at zero, do your 40 high knees and then your timer is going to start at that point. You have two minutes to perform your movements. Once you hit that two minutes, you're gonna stop and do 40 high knees every two minutes when you hit that mark. Those high knees are included in your two minutes. They shouldn't take very long to do um, to get them knocked out and get back to work. This is gonna kind of keep your cardio effort going while you're trying to get through these movements as well. It's supposed to be a little bit challenging. And then once we finish up the five rounds, we're gonna finish up with another 400 meter run. So I hope that'll be a nice cool down for you guys. Enjoy this one. I hope you're able to get outside and enjoy the sunshine and the weather as well. Here for Fitness, we are certified paramedics and not coaches or trainers. All exercises we present are shared from what we've learned in our fitness journeys. If you ask us about any medical symptoms, our advice will uniformly be that you are dying. Unless you pay us, in which case we will advise you that you are dying slower than others. If you would like to continue dying slower than everyone else, please use our community to help control your health and fitness. Always remember you being that your own risk, proper stretching is encouraged, and beware of excessive vagaling.